Hey, what's up everyone? This is DCSG81 and today we are going to have another session of toy photography which I hasn't been doing for quite some time now and today is about Spider-Man dynamic poses. Okay, so I believe that um, all of you should uh, know that Spider-Man is one of the uh, character which have the most dynamic poses uh, because he is constantly swinging in the air and he's very, um, how do I put it, flexible and he always doing all these kind of crazy stunts on the air so I believe most of you who have the uh, any Spider-Man figure at all regardless of uh, any brands you would like to pose him on a very dynamic poses which can prove to be quite competitive um, sorry challenging um, for most of you and I'm one of you as well because I'm not a professional in terms of posing I also need a lot of practice and also uh, most importantly you must have a reference that you can actually do some um, maybe some googles on spider-man poses that you can see right now and then you'll get lots of reference and don't be afraid to actually check on the reference because I mean this is uh, natural it, there's no plagiarism or anything like that because uh, you just need to have an idea on how to pose it and of course you must need to know uh you i mean you you must know that what are the limits of the figure what they can do and what they can't do just don't overdo it because it might break the figure it will break the joint and it will damage the figure and that's the thing that we don't want to okay so let's uh introduce our spider-man characters today Okay, so we will have the um, Marvel Legend um, Symbiote Spider-Man and then we will have the SH Figuarts um, Homecoming Spider-Man for the homemade suit and next we have the Mayfax Iron Spider from Infinity War or Endgame and next we have the latest Marvel Legends um, Far From Home Spider-Man uh, of the upgraded suit and lastly we have the uh, Mayfax homecoming spider-man of the tech suit okay so these are the five um, spider-man which I'll be showing you guys on how to do some of the poses which I feel that is the uh, very um, dynamic and might be challenging to some of you so I'm just going to show it to you guys and of course uh, I also <laughs> referring to some of the pictures to get some ideas and to see how to uh, how I can achieve the poses so yeah so this is how I do it I'm just going to show it to you guys right now okay so first of all I'm going to try with this guy first um, this is the Marvel Legends of course most of you would have known by now the poses can be quite limited and because uh, or even though it's uh, having um, a lot of uh, articulations but the poses can be quite rigid at times when you compare to Mayfax or even the SHV ones. so for this uh, um, symbiote spider I'm going to pose him on the uh, uh, wall crawling pose okay this pose may seem easy to some but it's, uh, it's actually one of the uh, most difficult one which I felt <laughs> that it's not as easy as it looks so first of all, you just need to get him, his body, uh, very very close to the ground because that's how you stick to the wall and of course the head have to look up for him to do the poses Okay So it's always um, that you can see on the picture just now one of the arms is always um, stretching out and the other one is always at the back like he's still um, trying to to climb up the wall okay so this uh, is roughly how it should look like I'll show it to you later and uh, the reason why I choose him 
to do the wall crawling poses is because I felt that he have a very suitable or very nice hand for wall crawling as you can see right now okay so I'll show it to you okay so this is how it looks like doing the wall crawling So the legs should be a little bit uh, spread out more and the body should be very close to the ground so it looks like he's sticking on it and it's doing the crawl okay so if you put it upside down it might look even better in my opinions okay so this is the very um, basic pose of uh, rat crawling of course I'm not saying this is the best one you guys can actually do better so yeah so just just the basic idea of how you can do the rat crawling okay okay so for the next one I felt that is one of my most favorite pose of spider-man which is the uh, upside down hanging pose you can see on the pictures right now so this um, um, poses is uh, I always like when he do that he just looks so cool so I believe this SH figure should be able to achieve it because of the um, the better joints and articulations because his leg will need to actually do this I believe the uh, Marvel Legends will not be able to do so so this is uh, very simple you just put it this way and then you basically got it ready okay something like this and he just he 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 did come with uh um what do you call this the um spider web for his swinging post Okay, so this is how it should look like. You can take a look at the hands. You should hold it. Both hands should hold to it. Okay, it should be something like this pose. Okay. And when you hang it around, it will not be moving. Okay, you can see that. If I just stick something to it, you should be able to hold upside down. Of course, the best one is the legs can actually um, clip on it so that it will move around. Yeah, you just get a little bit of uh, adjusting and then you can do it. Okay. Okay, so the next one would be the Mayfax Iron Spider. This time I will not be posing him <laughs> on, on the flying poses, on the swinging poses. I'm going to pose him. Um, this pose which I actually like, like quite a lot uh, actually make it a few times already hope I can remember it okay something like the um, the signature pose for spider-man okay you can actually adjust the leg to be like this okay actually the effects uh, figure can pose quite well it's just that you you need to be uh, careful when you're posing them because it, it, as you know they have a history of <laughs> um, joint breaking so you just need to be careful <clears throat> but I would say they are re rather sturdy now it's not as bad as people say yep so this is the pose that I like of course I took out all the claws because as you know the claws um, it's not recommended for you to have the claws on it when you're posing because anything that um, anything that you did wrongly or it falls over it might just break it so it's very very important that you take off all the claws when you're posing your spider-man and only after you pose it you are sure that it's stable then you put back all the claws in and then you just adjust the claw according to the poses that you want it to okay so I will not put the claw uh, right now um, I'll do it 
at the end of the video to show you all of them together okay so this is another post which i like a lot it's a very simple post um yet it, it just bring out the best of the spider-man okay okay so the next one would be this marvel legend um spider-man which i have reviewed recently and he can do one post which i'm pretty surprised that he can and i think i did show it to you guys um in my video um let's see is this how it goes okay is the uh, i think all of you should know this post by now is the superhero landing post okay <laughs> Yeah, surprisingly, he can do this pose pretty well, I would say. Okay, his leg, um, there's just no toe hinge, otherwise it will look better. Okay, and then he can bend up pretty much. Okay, you know, this Spider-Man can look up quite a lot. I want him to look this way. And there's a butterfly joint, of course. And his arm can go pretty much to the back to bring out the uh, beauty of this pose. If you want it to look to the side, then he can. And he's, uh, there's a waist. You can twist on the waist, can turn and to make it look more dynamic. Something like this. Yep. Voila. You can see he can do this pose pretty well. Of course, this Spider-Man, <laughs> he's not holding a perfect uh, close face. His face is like that. So you might want to, you, you don't want to show it like this and you can see that it's pretty ugly. There's a hole. <laughs> So you might want to turn it like that to hide the hole so it looks like he's really holding a punch. Same goes for here. You don't want to show him punching the ground like that with a hole. It's rather weird. So you just want to turn it over so that he doesn't show. And then he will look just fine. Okay, and this is the last one and which I also believe is the most difficult one. This is um, also one of my favorite Spider-Man pose, which is the squatting pose. I, I think if you have been watching my video, you have seen it. I actually do it quite a number of times for any Spider-Man figure which I can do. This is this Mayfax Spider-Man is one that can do it pretty well. I would say that he can do it um, even even better than the SHV Quartz ones. So what you do is the first step is to pose the leg, of course, and you pull down the leg to have more uh, space for it to turn and then you do it for the same on this leg as well and then basically you just turn it all over do not worry about the uh, material i mean the fabric it's not really a fabric but it's uh the waist area here is soft okay so after you turn it over you just need to adjust the leg okay and then it's pretty it's pretty fast if you have done it several times but if you have not you might need to take some time because i still remember the first time that i did it it took me quite a while but it's okay there's the joy of having figurines right i mean action figures are meant to be played with so let me adjust the camera Okay, so I'm not done yet. Um, it will be a lot better if you can uh, make it looks like he's really, really squatting down as low as possible. Of course, his body can uh, bend down quite a lot. And also, most important is for the hands to touch the ground pretty much uh, as much as possible, and the arms to lay straight as much as possible. will look something like this ok 
think this is also one of my favorite posts especially if you put in uh, on any edge of a tall building he will looks very cool like he's looking down okay of course um show you some pictures later at the end of the video so this is how she looks like okay so this is it the group pictures of all of them together so let's take a look at the marvel legend spider-man um, superhero landing pose and this is the uh, marvel legend as well for black symbiote spider-man wall crawling which i felt that is not really good still need a lot of uh, practice and then we have the uh, main facts iron spider i really like this pose with all his claws then we have the uh, uh, main facts as well uh, homecoming spider-man the tech suit and lastly, we have the uh, SH Figuarts Homecoming Spider-Man, the homemade suit. Okay, so I hope you like this video. It's just a very uh, simple video which I thought of uh, that I can share with you guys on how to do some dynamic poses for your Spider-Man. I hope you find this informative. Uh, do give me a like if you like this video. And uh, of course, you can always leave a comment, anything that you like to ask, and subscribe to my channel if you have, I mean, if you like uh, this kind of videos and my contents so far. Until then, I'll speak to you real soon. Bye.